Let me see you just twerking like Molly. Pull up. See you in the party, baby. I'm a rapper, that's the reason you should ride me. Facts. Tats on my body, Facts. sipping off a cardi. Why you throw it back? I'ma hit the lotty dotty. Say to be the name. name. New Molly B, bad before Mag May. Facts. She gon' give me head, that's the goal against the it's Ray from Rock Magazine, and we are here with Tata. Tata from Manglewood, New yeah. Jersey. 4-4. Four, four. Yes. So how are you doing today, Tata? How are you doing? Good, good, good. So I just want to get into it. When I first came across your music, I went to a showcase in the city, right? Yeah. And you were performing your song, Miley. Turkey like Miley. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what I saw was I saw like the crowd reaction. I just saw your performance and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. And then I checked it out on SoundCloud recently and I saw that you got almost yeah, a million I'm views. Like, I'm about like... A million, I'm 30,000 shy of a million. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me back to that moment when you created like, that song. What was that about? No funny, like, that song was a joke. Like, really? I made that song <laughs> clean and then, like, wow. my managers at the time, they was like, yeah, it's good to make street shit, but nobody want to hear that. Like, nobody want to hear street all the time. All the yeah. time. So it's so go like into the club. So at that time, I think Molly Cyrus, that's when she just started being around the hip hop crowd or whatever. And uh -huh. she, she did that uh, little twerk that she did. I'm like, twerking like Molly. Yeah. So at that time, I just went to go find like a catchy beat, like a beat that's mm -hmm. simple. Then I, so how did you come across around. that beat? At that time, I think it was SoundClick. I found that okay. beat on SoundClick. That's where I used to get my beats from. Okay, so did you expect it to, you, you obviously didn't expect nah, it to. Nah, not at all. I, I say about after the, like, the third performance, it was too much good of a feedback, so I knew it was mm -hmm. something. Like, I'm like, all right, I got one with this song. I'm going to keep pushing this. I'm going to keep pushing it. Yeah. So my friend Jabal Hakeem, he wound up getting verified um, on Vine. Okay. I don't know if you remember Vine, the little yes. six episode. He got verified on that, so then he posted it basically on his SoundCloud. All right, and so then it just um, started gaining mad fans, mad views like that. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Jabal for that one. All right, so you feel like after the Vine, that's when it kind of took off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So after that, I saw that you have been filming videos and things like that. Yeah. Did you come out with a project right after that single? No, I didn't release a project right away from um, Turkey Like Molly. I probably about like a year later I released. Okay. My first project called Legendary. Legendary, okay. Yeah, that was on CDs and all that. So okay. That's when CDs were still going. Okay. Oh, so you had the actual like CD yeah, version. Yeah, I had of that. the actual okay. CD. I put it in the stores. Oh wow. Okay. Is there anywhere yeah. that that can be found online along with the rest of your probably SoundCloud. Okay. Okay. SoundCloud. Like my old mixtapes, I didn't. I took them down because like, yeah, I'm on another level now. So yeah. Like, if it's a good song, I'll keep it. But mm -hmm. for the most part, I deleted the my old song. So, in terms of writing, what makes you pick the beats that you pick, and what makes you write the song that you write? What is it that inspires you? What are you thinking Uncle about? Uncle Lou inspired me. No oh, funny. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can it. see that. I'm the new Uncle Lou. Yeah, yeah. Because you have a lot of party songs. Yeah. yeah. I just want them to shake their shit. <laughs> You can say, what did you say? You can say that again. <laughs> I just want them to shake their shit. Yeah. So I saw that um, you have a new song actually called Shaking, Shaking It. it. Yes. Yeah. So what inspired that? Um, and take me, um, I saw the video too. Yeah. I, I did that in Atlanta. Uh -huh. I did, well, I did half of the video in Atlanta and I did the other half over here. With that song, how that song came about, my cousin, the Vagina Slayer for Black Ink. Okay. Yeah, me, him, his girl, Donna. My man is Chris and Blue. We go to Atlanta probably about four times every couple months. That's our second home. So yeah. when we, every time we out there, we in the strip clubs. Mm -hmm. So they like, yo, Tay, you should make a song for the strip club. Mm -hmm. So I came back over here. I'm with my man, my right hand, b right. Mm -hmm. He like, yo, Tay, just find some the baby type beat and just go crazy. Like, that's what they want to hear. So yeah. I'm, I went on YouTube. I searched up the baby type beat. I say about like second page, I found that beat. I'm like, nah, this shit hard. So I'm freestyling at first. I'm like, well, like, hey, I was, we talking about practice. And then they came with attachment. They like, 
yo, just keep going. That shit sound crazy. So I locked myself in the room for like 30 minutes, came back out with that freestyle. Mm-hmm. They said, nah, that's it. Go record that in a real studio. So we wound up going to a real, real studio. We called up these two girls that I know named Taylor and Ashley. Mm-hmm. They just like... They gas us. Out, they gas our head a lot. Like they twerk. <laughs> they twerk for us and all that. So yeah. we in the studio. They just start twerking and everything. They got me hyped. So I go in the booth. I lay it down. They like, oh my god! I can't wait for this video. Da da da. Mm-hmm. You know, rest is history. So is that your newest single? Is that from a project? I didn't release the project yet, but okay. yeah, that's my newest single. Okay. That and three for three featuring my man's B Rad. I just told y'all about. Okay. He was supposed to be here with me. I don't know where he at right now. But, oh, okay. In terms of the projects that you've had in total, um, how many projects have you released? Three mixtapes, mm-hmm. two EPs. Single-wise, I probably released about over 15 singles. So, like, mm-hmm. if you look on Apple Music, yeah, you'll see that. So that's where most of your music is yeah. available. Okay. Apple Music, Spotify, everything. What are some of the things that you're working on right now i do um <laughs> i do clothes too also oh okay i have a clothing line called high heavens that's okay. just starting to pick up and you it's probably, like an urban streetwear right yeah, yeah. okay okay right men's now, and women's both yeah okay all right okay so what inspired you to do that i always made clothes for myself mm-hmm. but i'll be seeing like my friends and all of them like they not into fashion as much as me, so when we go into a party or whatever, they always hit me like, yo, Tay, come with me to the mall, let me come make me something real fast, like put something together. I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna start making clothes. Yeah. So then I just started making clothes. Okay, and how long have you been doing that for? Right now, probably about, I'd say about six months. Okay. Like for real, six months. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I also saw your video, Dope. Yeah, they like that song too. Yeah. That's another fan favorite. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 like my street friends and like the street crowd, they like that. They be like, yo, find Black the Beats. Shout mm-hmm. out to Black the Beats. That's the one who made the beat for me and everything. Okay, yeah, I heard of him. Yeah. yeah. So we in the studio. He like, yo, I'm going to throw the auto tune on it. Just. Sound like you from Atlanta, but talk your shit. I'm like, sound like I'm from Atlanta. At that time, Future was the hottest coming out of Atlanta. So yeah. I'm like, I got the dope. I'm gonna light it. I got the dope. So he wound up okay. tweaking my voice, and then that's my friends heard that they like, yo, that shit hard. That shit fire. Do that. Do that. So every time I perform that, the crowd get hyped. That and Turkey, yeah. like Molly, they like that. Those like my two old songs that I could. I can perform at any time, and I know what the crowd gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you do a lot of shows? Yeah, I performed. I've performed over a hundred shows. Oh wow! Just yeah. in total, wow, that's yeah. a lot. That's I've a been lot. performing since I'd say about fifteen, sixteen. Oh, okay, okay. But it wasn't just me. I was in a group before. I was oh. uh, young how fan. Long, how Why? long have you been rapping? Thirteen. Okay. 13, 14. Since 13? Yeah. Okay. Young Fam, that's who That's who I started off with. We, I'm still associated with them, but we all doing our own solo thing. Yeah. So what are some things that you are looking forward to, like, accomplishing in, like, the, the future, the near future? Getting, well, I don't even want to get signed. No more. I just want to get my name more out there. Mm-hmm. That way I, I can stay independent, get collect all that by myself. Right. And then put my team on and put them in position to win. Like, I want everybody to win. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. Well, everybody around me to win. And are you still associated with like a group or any kind of group? Is there anybody like you want to shout out that um, you work closely with? The Vibers. <laughs> That's me, my man, b Rad. The Vibers. Uh, and shout out to Natural Vibes man, too. We're actually in yeah, shout out to Natural, Natural Vibes. Vibes Energy Bar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So That's funny. the vibers, the vibe, I feel the vibes, yeah. all right. <laughs> that sounds good. They know us. And um, where can most of your music be found? Anywhere music is, anywhere you can listen to music, if uh-huh. you search up Tater, you're going to find out, you're going to find all my music there, like, I'm yeah. everywhere. And is there anything that you are 
I guess, looking forward to? Or um, is there anything that you would like to do outside of music? Just music and fashion. That's yeah. That's my passion right there. Like, mm -hmm. I, I never played sports. I never tried to play basketball or football. That wasn't me. I just like getting fly mm -hmm. into the money, so, and rapping. You said you've been rapping since you were 13. Yeah. So what kind of made what made you want to do that at that age? What put you in that space of right? I'm not even going. I'm gonna tell you the real truth. Like, okay. Basically, it's like if you're not gonna do sports, you gotta do something in school, like mm -hmm. in order to be popular and get the girls and everything like that. And at that time, it was either sports or you a rapper. My man's Blair, he was both. My man's Queese, he was both. My stepbrother came out of no, he didn't even play no sports at all. He waited till he got out here. He wound up getting on the team and he started rapping. So I'm like, nah, I gotta do something. Like, I can't just be doing nothing. So I started rapping. At first, it started on AIM. Like, I don't know if y'all remember AIM. Yes, I do. <laughs> we, used to, we used to actually write our raps out oh, and have wow. rap competitions through the. Uh, through the, the yeah, wow. through the chat. So That's they would crazy. actually have to read our verses out like, yeah. Okay, okay, that sounds cool. So, yeah, I'm old, y'all, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got a show September 4th, too, in New Jersey Pack with Fabio, okay. Foreign, Dream Dog, Asian Dog, Mr. Chicken, a couple other people. September 4th? Yeah. Okay, and NJ Pack in Newark. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Okay, all right. Um, and is there anything else you would like to mention? Nah, not really. Just shout out everybody that fuck with me. Fuck with me, I fuck with you. Love, that's it. I got that dope on my lighter. 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 I got that dope on my lighter.